We're all here, I believe, because we care about the communities that we live in. Um, we want them to thrive, we want them to be safe and secure, and we want people who live in them to be able to access economic and social activities to meet their needs. The Transport Knowledge Hub is really important because it's, it's disseminating information and knowledge throughout a diverse local community in Great Britain about the really important links between economic growth, housing, uh, jobs and transport. The Hub uniquely brings together local and central government, local enterprise partnerships and the transport community to encourage investments that will facilitate inclusive and sustainable economic growth. A very useful uh, opportunity to exchange uh, uh, information, understand latest technical developments and meet with uh, peers and also meet with some real industry leaders. We want to talk about transport and connectivity because it can also be about moving things to people. It's not all about getting everyone into the city centre to work in offices every day. It could be about moving access to your workplace out to community centres in Hartcliff. We um, end up representing regional disparities and um, also ambitions. Opportunity to get together as a group of professionals and discuss issues really on which is a consensus um, it, it is fairly unique. In the main, our, the focus of our work being that this is about how do we leverage private sector investment to bring forward, as Claire said, the scale of homes that we need. We've got a shelf full of plans for transport in London at home range, uh, going back at least to 1940. One of the characteristics of nearly all of them is that none of it was ever done because they're transport plans. 98% of something of, of the revenue that we use comes from the users. Therefore, we need the public transport provision uh, to work and that means it has to be attractive to people. My organisation's building 16,000 homes over the next 10 years. That's two and a half billion pounds worth of investment in the South West. For that to happen, it, is, it actually isn't money that's our biggest challenge. It's actually having the vision to create the settlements and the infrastructure to see those homes get delivered. Recognition that civic leadership is incredibly important and com de developing compelling vision for housing. Uh, housing and infrastructure particularly, and for the vision to be long term. If you have a far-flung uh, place out in the middle of nowhere of a few thousand houses being built very slowly over the years, running a commercial bus service is difficult. We need uh, plan makers to recognise that transport is not something we can easily retrofit um, to a development strategy. Rather, we need to make sure that transport is absolutely part of the foundation. We have to engage early, proportionately and meaningfully with plan makers. It's actually quite difficult for our external promoters to, to move forward relatively small railway, railway projects. It's an incredibly uh, buoyant and prosperous area in the first place. People want to come and live here. We have to make sure that we can provide them with the means of getting about that makes it possible to have a good life.